also nice to see all the different kind of names of, you know, they're all new names, new, new streets, so they have all new. That's right, yeah. Street names. They have to Sandro come up with Botticelli. new ones. <laughs> Donatello. It makes you wonder who, who, who names the streets. <laughs> yeah, well, there are committees for that. Yeah. Go uh, that way. That way. Are you saying that you'd like to be on the committee? No, 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 not really. No, no. Too much responsibility? <laughs> not for street. Well, I was on the committee of the Rijn Waalpad, the first long distance, and the one to Beuningen as well. Yeah. So no, that, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> So this is this central parking uh, over there. Yeah. A lot under construction here. Yeah, there's still a lot of construction, uh, so we have to uh, cycle around it. Denser housing right along here. Yeah, there are the, the very different styles of uh, housing, and yeah. there are also uh, in combination with uh, with stores, small stores. Right. They can put in here. It's nice having this little green space right along here as well. The I, natural, the natural area. Yeah, yeah. More wildflowers, so it's nice to be on your patio right here, and then have this to look out on. We are already too far now, and so now we have to go back in uh, somewhere. On the edge, already too far. Yeah, we've got some trees here. Looks like an old orchard. Yeah, actually. that's really old. Uh, it's uh, cherries. Oh wow, cherry trees, huh? Yeah, cherry trees. Very nice. Oh, and there's the train station right there. Yep. So another view of it. There's another panorama uh, by going uh, with the person in a wheelchair. Ah, uh, yes. Front. Yeah. Another little connector. Cargo bike action. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was funny that I really mentioned that as one of the, yeah. the specific things that you see here. Yeah, yeah, there's a good view of the person with the, the wheelchair. He's doing his backup, that's fantastic. Yeah. Ah, I think I see the outdoor seating. Yes. It's really nice how many different uh, styles of uh, architecture they uh, they use here, I think. Yeah. It's, uh, what we, what we saw before a lot of times when they built new neighborhoods like this, that it was more or less in the same, same style, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's quite a bit of variety. 
This is probably this uh, elderly home or mm -hmm. mixed home where uh, what the ladies were talking about. Yeah. I think uh, when you come from another two years from now, then yeah. uh, things will be changed again. Right, yeah. <laughs> Very much. Much further along. Yeah. Because they're also now planning in, uh, in front of the station. Mm -hmm. they, well, they, this is actually what they are building here now. There will be uh, a large, I think a more than 50 meter high building again. Okay. That's yeah, going to be here. So I was mm -hmm. thinking of uh, taking you also to that, that, that newest bridge. Because mm -hmm. that's actually for cycling, that's very nice. Back by our cherry trees. <laughs> yeah, there, but there are a few. Cherries, I think. Yeah. It's uh, nice to do that bridge as well. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we got some kids out fishing. Yeah. Just uh, in your backyard. Yeah, in your backyard. <laughs> Uh, Good to have some uh, recreation opportunities in your backyard. Yeah, yeah that's, that's nice, <laughs> isn't it? And yeah, very close to the, to the big river and... Uh, A little bit of green space integrated right between the houses there. This is also very typical for uh, somebody, someone who graduated at mm -hmm. high school. Yeah. They hang out the flag, the, the banner with a uh, with this school bag. Yeah, the backpack. Yeah. Yeah. They do that in the United States as well. Not that I know of. No. Yeah. I've seen it here before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's a tradition. Yeah. Are you also in contact with? Uh, uh, Chris Nolte from Propel Bike. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Chris has uh, uh, been on the channel. Ah, uh, look, they uh, redid the arches here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they're uh, back again. Here, to the to the left here. Yeah. You got arches here, matching the arches there. A little nod to the oh, Roman yeah. arches. What the, what I told about the uh, the mirror view of the of the park. I didn't know that. Uh, oh yeah. But that's pretty nice to yeah. uh, have these kind of thoughts about how to do that. Yep. There is a real nice video about what they told about the the veterans that every night they walk right. at sunset. They call it the sunset march. It's, uh, there's a video made of that. And then, well, they have these 48 light poles and they start shining one after the other right. when the veterans walk by. It's fabulous. And they really started this, you know, when, when the bridge was opened in 2013. Right. And every day they do that. Yeah. So that's quite, uh, yeah. It's a nice, nice tradition. Yeah. Here you see that little bridge again with the step stones. Yeah. This is a, uh, a bi-directional bike path, but it's the only on this side. It would have been nice if it would have been one on the other side as well, but uh, when they built the bridge, that was not, uh, financially, that was not possible.
Let's actually pull over right here for a second. I want to point out that in addition to the arches, we, uh, in addition to the arches, we also have little, little pull outs. And yeah, so yeah. it gives the arches this really cool three dimensional feature to it where it's yeah. not only is it like the arch this way, it also, it also comes is. out. Yeah. yeah. It's a neat little, uh, little feature. Yeah. Yeah. And, and also it are resting points. Be people are also walking here. Yeah. So they have the possibility to, to step aside, let's say, right. and maybe rest or just have a look around. Yeah, or and, just uh, enjoy yeah. the nature, you know, turn around. Uh, actually, actually it, well, well, yeah. I think it was planned to have uh, also, well, more activity on the bridge. Right. But then it is a little bit too small to really have something like a, you know, you could, could imagine that it would be something like a, uh, uh, a food stall as well, you know, something yeah. or yeah, yeah. a little, uh, some, but the, it's not quite yeah. as wide enough for that, but yeah. it's, uh, yeah, there are nice places to rest or yeah. to stop yeah. and to, see, to look around. And uh, it, I yeah, and it gives, yeah. uh, gives a dynamic to the bridge, actually. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, it was a neat, as we were rolling up, you can see the sections of the arches on that area there where it doesn't have that three-dimensional perspective. Mm -hmm. It's still quite beautiful, but then when you're rolling towards this section, you're like, woo! It's you, you get you get that yeah, whoa! Yeah. It's coming this way and that way. So yeah, yeah, yeah it's pretty fun. Yeah, this bridge is really well uh, documented as well mm -hmm. when they when they build it. Yeah, and uh, they made a really nice book of it uh, yeah. as well. Uh, so that'll be worth uh, watching as well to see. Uh, well, all the aspects. What uh, all the aspects? Yeah, of, of, and of, just of, the fact, like you were saying earlier, is that every night the the veterans walk across it you know, remembering yeah. those 48 lives lost, you know, in that, yeah, that's, that, the, uh, that's a yeah. good uh, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Carry on. And the whole, the whole structure of the bridge as such, it's, it's, I think it's beautiful as well. It's a yeah, very forceful design, I think. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and elegant, also elegant, but also uh, strong. It's, I like it. Yeah, no, it's very well And at well night, it's, uh, it's also lighted, the whole arch. Yeah. Yeah, very beautiful. And here, when you see the Naima, that was a water tower. Mm -hmm. And they uh, reconstructed the whole plant there. And they're going to make a, a restaurant and a, and a, and a, and a bar okay. in the tower, in, in the top uh, also. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, they Very just, uh, the, the plants are already, you know, for a long time, but now yeah. they. Uh, I think last week they uh, they they really had a decision that it was uh, uh, that it will be uh, uh, realized. Right. So that uh, maybe this is also fun to take uh, yeah. the elevator. Mm -hmm. It's a bicycle elevator. Sure. And uh, well, we can go. You know, you can cycle all the way down. Yeah. You can take the stairs. Yeah. But you can also take the elevator. Yeah. Bicycle elevator. And you can see a little tour boat on the river there. Pancake boat. A pancake boat. Nice. So when you go on a trip on the river, you can eat yeah. pancakes as well. Eat pancake, yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> it's that's well named. Well, you know, they, when the bridge was built, they all also built this elevator. Mm -hmm. But then it was in a very, uh, there were no houses and anything here. So it, yeah, was, yeah. it was vandalized yeah. dramatically. And so they, uh, they built a, uh, they made a artwork of it. They, they all, yeah. you know, they, they put, uh, there was an artist who made a kind of a, a tower of it. Very right, right. Nice. Yeah. nice. But now there, is, yeah. there are houses now, there are things. Yeah. Other activities, so they uh, 
they restarted the the elevator. Right, right. Hoping that it will not be gotten the ice again. Yeah. And then here's the urban rewilding of Naima. Very nice. Yeah, they put a lot of uh, natural uh, details in it as well. Yeah. And then we see the Naima Makersplatz. Yeah, Naima Makersplatz. Yeah, this is where, uh, what I told you before, there are a lot of uh, creative entrepreneurs, right. uh, uh, craftsmen, Yeah. all kind of. We can, we can have a look at uh, some yeah, of them. Let's, let's also check out this uh, roll by the uh, the little bike park here, the, the pump track with yeah, the, kit yeah, for the kids. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, there is, uh, it's called Walhalla, which yeah. is a, uh, a skate skate park. Yep, yep, and yeah, the little pump track, yeah, yeah. the BMX bump, pump track for the kids. Pump track, yeah, everything. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the little ones are all tuckered out. <laughs> yeah, they. Uh, but yeah. Well, usually it's quite well. It's it's Friday, uh, you know. Yeah. Schools schools are still on. So, yeah. Uh, Very nice. Well, Yos, you want to borrow my uh, Brompton and go uh, take make, a, make take a round. around? Yeah, make a round or two. <laughs> Very cool. They did a really good job here to make a, uh, a skate park here. Yeah. I mean, these are real, really, you know, uh, left left factory buildings with nothing actually, and uh, yeah. and they uh, really reuse it very well. Right. Well, there's an art park here, but also a, a brewery. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and they are growing. Yeah. They are growing the hop here. There's, those are hops, yeah. Yeah. I recognize those. Those yeah. are hops. Yeah. Very nice. Very cool. What a setting. Underneath the uh, bridge, the kids have their little pump track and the skate park. And the adults, they've got their little brewery here. And again, you were saying that this is the old um, power plant. Area, no, this right? is not the power plant. Okay. That's that's the other side. Oh, this the other side. A, so. uh, this is just an old industrial area. Yeah, yeah. an old factory of. Factory uh, area. Um, what did they do here? Yeah. Oh, and that's the one you were talking about right there. The, the Naima. Naima. Yeah. And it it was all you know it was all covered before. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, this is what's what what they're going to keep, mm -hmm. and they'll make uh, uh, there will be offices and a restaurant and, okay. and a bar on, on top. Nice. So that's uh, very nice. Yeah, that's very nice. And here very is cool. the the brewery. Mm -hmm. There's the brewery. Ur soup. Well, and there are all kind of uh, small companies here. Yeah, yeah. We can uh, at the other side. There is a uh, an entrance as well. Mm -hmm. There is a, uh, a small restaurant here as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Outdoor seating. I've seen it as well, yeah. and uh, there is a uh, coffee roaster here, mm -hmm. which is very uh, nice coffee. Hi. 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 Some old buildings, some opportunities here. We can walk inside. The... You want to walk inside? Sure. We're heading into the Maker's Plots. So all kinds of, uh, here they are reconstructing uh, uh, Deux Yeah. These small French cars. Ah, yeah, yeah. Citroën. All kind of woodworking. Yeah. All the different small businesses. Furniture. And makers, creators. Very cool. I wanted to, uh, to visit the uh, Busy Bike. Bart's Werk, Busy Bike.
Hey, baby. Kom even op bezoek. Met uh, John, zijn mijn vriend. Hallo, Austin, John. Texas. Hi. Hey, wow. Is Bart toevallig ook nog? Nee, nee, Bart is er niet. Bart is er niet. Yes. Oh, buiten. Yes, you know Active Towns. You follow Active Towns. All right. Yay. Very You're good. a fan. You're a fan. Yes. Ah, very good. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. In person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, this is your box. Busy bike. I like it. Woo. Very nice. So special oh, order, yeah, well. yeah. Right? yeah. Special order. No, um, I'm going yeah. to produce it. You're going to produce yeah, it. Fantastic. I, I have uh, at another, another, another place mm -hmm. in Elst. I have a CNC uh, automatic CNC machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm practicing with that machine. Okay. I also like to uh, to practice with some, something I can sell. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is the first product of. This the, is the first. Yeah. Wow. This is a uh, very nice scope. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, for sure a scope, yeah. And this is uh, how it will be. So, mm -hmm. flat, and the wall. So. Very nice. Most people uh, who are seeing this, this box are very enthusiastic about the mm -hmm. shape and uh, how, mm -hmm. ma how much volume is right. in it. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very nice. Uh, I, ha I had two weeks ago, I had it for the first time in my shop. Uh -huh. Three days later, I sold the first one. Okay, very good. To a family. Uh -huh. they have, uh, I put uh, a baby baby shell in mm -hmm. it. Right. And uh, uh, a sit on a, on a YEP adapter. So right, right. For a child of three years. Right, yeah. So they were very enthusiastic. Very nice. Very good. Excellent. And approximately how much uh, would this sell for? Uh, the price at, at this moment, including mounting on the bike, was 400 euros. Okay. Yeah, okay. At, at this moment, but at this uh, moment. I, I'm thinking about that. Correct. Right. Um, and I have uh, yeah, made myself a few mm -hmm. targets. Yeah. So over two months, three months, I want to have a box cover for this this bike. Mm -hmm. So yeah, right. uh, yeah, nice box. So you can uh, how do you call it? cover the whole box. Mm -hmm. And then in January, February next year, mm -hmm. I want to have a, a rain cover. Yes, yeah, for the kids, yeah. you have a rain cover. Yes. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. That's great. And if somebody needs the bike as well, will you be able to sell the, the bike yeah, and I'll the be bike a box? Be yeah, a dealer of the brand. Fantastic. But uh, the idea is to make a, a web shop article right. from it and YouTube films. So, how right. can I, uh, what do you call that? In elkaar zetten. Mount, mount it. Yeah, yeah. It's assemble. Yeah. Because it's uh, all do with tie wraps. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is proof concept. So yeah. it's um, cheap. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, if uh, a panel is damaged, you can change the panels without without problems. Everyone right, right. Can do you it. can swap them out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Brilliant. Very good. Very good. And is it yeah. uh, exclusively for the for the bullet, or are you also yeah. constructed for uh, only bullet? Only bullet. Only bullet. Yeah. Okay. Very good. The idea is also to make over one and a half year one for the H version of uh, Duze. Mm -hmm. Half as a Duze, but not now. I have to focus yeah. first on this yeah, yeah, yeah. and then the Proof next. of concept, <laughs> then you can you look at the other types of bikes. Yes, exactly. yeah, other types of cargo bikes. Fantastic. I love it. That's great. Thank you very much. Good job. Yeah. Woo. See that street? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine uh, that's interesting for you as well. So, yeah, yeah. we're... we're it's, it's a wall now. Yeah, so we, we've got a little shared street here. This is a home street or play street. It's basically shared space. And uh, it's, a, it's a very, very comfortable zone. Here on the right, it's yeah. very nice to have like a... Yeah, you got some more green internal. in there. And we do see in, the, in that back area over there, there was a little chicane, just like we have a chicane here, too. Very nice. Yep. Makes for a pleasant little environment here. Redefining street space. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the 
car cone. Very nice. Okay, back on the regularly scheduled route. Now we go to your <laughs> Now that I've diverted us. <laughs> Well, this, this was a much better uh, shortcut. A uh, much better shortcut, there you go. All right. <laughs> but, you know, it's really amazing to see how many different cargo bikes are all around. Yeah. And a very comfortable street here again a feet strut we've got the ability for the residents to park their cars in this area but as you can tell the space is just dominated by people riding bikes bike riding bikes yeah. exactly yeah they're all uh, here you are at the the honig uh, complex mm -hmm. we yeah. this is where we had our office and also busy bike mm -hmm. uh, but it's all torn down now we were yeah. at the here at the corner yeah. On a big, uh, I think what, what's still on is like maybe a quarter of the whole complex uh, right. what was here. And we had the Dutch bicycle centers here as well. Okay. With uh, about 20 cycle related companies. Right. That was, uh, huh. that was quite nice. Uh, Let's pull off to the side here and talk a little bit about this space. So yeah, let's talk about this property. So this, this property had a whole bunch of different, uh, you were saying bike related yeah, yeah. Uh, types of uh, well, companies and before here. that, it was also a, it was a, uh, the Honig. It's, yeah. it's a soup factory actually. Okay. It was a soup factory. Yeah. Also like uh, Heinz right, was right. here uh, with, uh, with the yeah, ketchup. Yeah. And uh, ketchup, so yeah. that, that kind of things were, uh, yeah. and then um, I think it was like, 2012, the factory was shut down, mm -hmm. and they were looking for new use of the factory for right. the time that it was torn down. Yeah. And uh, so there were a lot of new initiatives coming up, and uh, we were here also with, uh, well, some 20 bike-related mm -hmm. companies that were together in the, the Dutch Bicycle Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, Wiebe from Busy Bike mm -hmm. was part of that as well, although we had a different location. We were three. Right. Well, war on this side and the Dutch bike on that, but yeah, yeah. more or less it was uh, it was the, the same thing. But there was also uh, the Markersplatz, what you, what you saw at Which the Nijma. Yeah. They started here. Ah. And so uh, let me swing the camera around here, and we'll take another look at this this entire complex. So, um, what's the future of of this complex? What's going to happen here? Well, uh, like two thirds or three quarters of the complex are torn down already, mm -hmm. and they will build uh, housing here. Okay, so we're getting more housing. Yeah, okay. more housing here. So that'll mean more housing on this side of the river. Yes, yeah. also, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and what you see here around is also all new housing. It's, it's right. This is also like five, six years old. I mean, yeah, it yeah. looks it looks like it's there for thirty years already, but it's uh, yeah. it's really all new uh, new housing. Yeah. Beautiful construction that, you know, it's it's only been there a short amount of time, but it looks classic, very It looks classic very classic, construction. yeah, and yeah. That's, that's really what a lot of people uh, like, so uh, that's yeah. what they built. Yeah. And actually, the, the, the original plan was to, to tear down the whole factory, mm -hmm. but because it was such a success to have all these small businesses here, right. and also to have uh, a cafe and a restaurant and, yeah. and all those things, and actually, when you have a new neighborhood, it also needs some old things. And, yeah, yeah. and when it's worked, so why would you tear this down, down. And, and, and build yeah. something new? Yeah, because if we take a look, we still have you know signs here that say open. Yeah. And if you well, it's open. It's yeah. at the side. There is a terrace there. Yeah. And, uh, and you can see the, the, the seating on the outside. Yeah. Uh, so that's a restaurant or yeah, yeah exactly. Or a bar and they have they have uh, you know music uh, mm -hmm. festivals here or yeah. other kind of uh, events taking place here. Yeah. And uh, no, that's good. It's really re reusing reusing uh, the, the 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 space that's there. Right. And that's yeah. uh, that's really nice. Uh, we passed by the Ursoop Brewery. Mm -hmm. They they were also uh, in here, in here before. Okay. 
And uh, well, a lot of companies that are there now, they started here. Okay. And uh, so that that's uh, that's it, it, it. Really, it had also a, a function to, yeah. You know, to bring new new yeah. business in uh, in here. Yeah. One of the things you see there, the beach bar is still on the on the wall there. Yeah. And uh, what was really nice of the complex was that they had a beach volleyball. Um, uh, Resort, right, right, but it was on the first floor. Oh, neat! So yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. they brought in like you know a, a meter of sand in there, yeah. or half a meter of sand, and yeah. they had, you know, it was like a well beach volleyball you do at the beach, but yeah, then, yeah. but then, yeah, in the building, yeah, <laughs> it, was building. Pretty, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of uh, pretty fun. One of the, yeah. the strange things that they can do here, but yeah, yeah, yeah. when you have a factory like that that has no other use, it's it's, it's cheap. Space right. for a lot of uh, initiatives to to get started, and uh, yeah. and they did really well here. Yeah. So uh, also a lot of things went wrong, of course, because sure, you know, sure. over the time yeah. uh, things go wrong. Yeah. But now they are yeah. planning. They had a lot of uh, archaeological um, research here as well. Okay. Because this well, this is the side of the river, mm -hmm. so a lot of the. Uh, uh, the Roman uh, and, and after that mm -hmm. Middle Age uh, settlements, they were also uh, around, around here. Yeah. So they did a lot of uh, of, uh, of archaeological uh, research here as well. Right. Yeah. That was good. that was very nice. Uh, but then you know they do the research, they they check all the data, yeah. and, but then they cover it again and they okay. build. So it, so maybe in in a hundred years or two hundred years, yeah. they will start yeah. again. Yeah, and then uncover they have it again. Yeah. Uncover it yeah. again, or they, and they have probably new techn technological possibilities to right. do even more than they can do now. Yeah. So that's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, and <laughs> clearly, we, I mean, we have, we've just been seeing a constant flow of families riding by here. Yeah, so, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a lot of uh, young families. So you see a lot yeah. of cargo bikes as well. Yeah, you all, you see all these signs of newborn. Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> saw those. Yeah, the little yeah, yeah. stork out yeah, yeah. there. Yeah, so that's, uh, yeah. Well, and actually, it's we something. had the cargo bike festival uh, was um, started actually at at the Vasim, okay. where we uh, the other side of where we were, we were talking with Wiebe. Yeah, that's where it was six years, and then we had one year here in, uh, in 2017 at, okay. at this location, and uh, in 2018, then we went to 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 Berlin and yeah, yeah. Tempelhof in Berlin. So that was. Uh, and uh, well, and then since then, you know, there were construction here all the time. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So, all uh, right. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, all right. Yeah, it's so it's so funny. There's just a, a constant flow of people on bikes here on the Speedstrat, and uh, yeah, yeah. Mobility and scooters as well. Yeah. Deliveries. Deliveries. Yeah. Takeaway. Yeah. Very nice. And uh, all the buildings that you see there, mm -hmm. they are quite new as well. Okay. And there was the um, the local newspaper was uh, based there before. Okay. They had the the the, the publishing, uh, but that that. Uh, that's quite a while ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this, uh, well, you know, this this neighborhood actually was was very, uh, uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of workers from the factories that were based here. There was there was a big slaughterhouse here. Okay. And uh, well, then the, the Honey Factory. Those people, you know, they lived all here, yeah. worker spaces, and now, well, those new developments. They also make that there are new kind of, new kind of restaurants are coming in, and and it's all redevelopment. Right. And uh, and of course, they are also doing lots of all kinds of initiatives to get you know to to get the people know each other. Right. Right. I kind of forgot to. Uh, there is a nice initiative back there. From mm -hmm. uh, they have a cycling uh, initiative to uh, to collect old bikes to oh. repair them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And share them with the people that cannot afford a bike. Right. Yeah. Would you care to visit that or? 
Um, we don't have to. I mean, if you if we're on a, a tight schedule, but we yeah, can. we yeah from yeah we we'll, maybe it's not. Uh, I just yeah. think of it now, but uh, yeah. What's the name of it? It's from uh, Huis van Compassie. Okay. Uh, the House of Compassion. Okay, very good. Well, and the guy who is coordinating it is uh, we have priority here. I I, I kind of forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is also, uh, he has been working in, in Africa, in Kenya and Uganda uh -huh, on bicycle okay. projects. Yeah. Cycling out of poverty. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they're doing a really good job uh, over there. Yeah. And uh, also trying to set up a local uh, bicycle factory, uh, factory actually. Oh, okay. So they're, not, not, they're in Africa? Yeah, they're on uh, Ninja. Okay. Uganda and in, uh, I think in uh, Kisumu. Okay. But uh, you, you'll have to look that up to be sure what yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the details. And uh, well, actually, last uh, two months ago, two uh, municipal representatives of the of Ninja, they were here at Nijmegen. Oh, okay. And uh, so, uh, oh, not only in Nijmegen, they were in the Netherlands, and they took them all around, well, all kinds of initiatives that they could uh, parallel with to, to, to sure, their sure. own city. And, uh, yeah, yeah. We're heading now to, uh, to my uh, office. Okay. So I'll show you the adapted, uh, adapted by, some bike parking. Uh, right, yeah. And here is another uh, reconstruction of a uh, of a crossroad mm -hmm. of five different streets. Okay. So it has always been a kind of a uh, well difficult place to to cross for everybody actually. And uh, uh, well, this is one of those other places that uh, that I really don't know how how they are now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it, it, it differs every 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 day, every day that you come here. So uh, we'll have to look how uh, well we'll see how well they uh, accommodate us trying to get where we need exactly. to go. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we did something wrong here, I guess. Uh, And we go that way. Okay. So uh, this is another spot that you have to visit in two years right, and see yeah. how it develops. See how it develops. <laughs> yeah. And this is the other side of the, of the train station. So here they are really uh, building a new entrance to the train station yeah. from this side of town. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is, you know, what I would call just a typical sort of Dutch residential access street, you know, where it's mm. shared space. You have somebody in a mobility scooter there. You know, you have cars that are moving slowly. Yes, it's paved in the clinkers, the bricks, trying to slow people down a little bit, but yeah. You can see, proceeding with caution, gonna be turning right anyways. No reason to rush the person in the mobility device. No. So, it's very simple. But effective. Yeah, but effective, ultimately. When everybody gets along. When everybody gets along. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If uh, people start getting impatient, then not so much. But. But you know, this yes. is, yeah, I mean, it, well, like you said, it's residential, yeah. so people, maybe they don't, do not know each other really, but they know right. that they are from around. Yeah, hopefully you're not seeing people using this as cut-throughs. No, but it's yeah. not, not very attractive as a cut-through. Yes, exactly. And, that, and you make it... left here. And you make it not attractive, you know. Exactly. You, <laughs> you put traffic calming, you put uh, diverters, you know. Strategies can be made by the city to make it less attractive. So... Less attractive for cars, but correct. more attractive for people. Exactly, yes. Yeah. This is... Uh, well, this is the adaptive uh, bike parking mm -hmm. for people with uh, 
walking dif difficulties. Mm -hmm. They come in with their uh, tricycle or or uh, a hand bike that they can adjust to their uh, to their wheelchair. Yeah. Or you know just also people with cargo bikes that, that have for special uh, special needs. Right. Or uh, uh, those scoot mobile or uh, other kinds of uh, vehicles, but but it's close to the entrance. Yeah. So they they can park here yeah. and uh, don't need to walk yeah. a long way. So that's uh, yeah. and and you see it's very simple. Yeah, very it's just uh, an indication, a sign that it that it's dedicated parking for people. Uh, well, it says wheelchair, but that's the 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 general the the, the general sign for for handicapped people. Yeah. You accessibility. know, like yeah. the accessibility, like like yeah. the one for cars. Right. That yeah. one was there for a long time already. Yeah. But there was there was nothing special for. Uh, yeah, different levels of uh, uh, to to put a chain through. Right. So that's. Uh, and is is this over here intended to be for cargo bikes? This one specifically? Yeah. No, it's it's regular bikes. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, by the way, it's 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 my uh, my parking spot. <laughs> parking? No, not my parking spot, but it uh, we got it from Cycle Hoop right. to uh, demonstrate. We had it at the Honig before. And so when I moved here, I asked them, well, shall we bring it? Because, yeah. you know, it's, it's a nice, yeah. you, you can also say to people that come to visit, it's at the place with a big green bike. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, in other words, you came with your own bike parking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Although I, I never put my bike in there because, yeah. well, yeah, the cargo bike is actually too wide to put in there, yeah. I think. So uh, they can put bikes on both sides of the, mm -hmm. of the bar, so yeah. you can put in, uh, well, like 10, 10 bikes or yeah. eight bikes, so that's uh, that's very nice. Uh, they were happy with it. Fantastic. So, uh, and my uh, where well, you see the sign of the cargo bike festival up there? Oh, there it is. That's that's my that's office. Where, where we see it. <laughs> yeah. That's where your office is. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Then uh, actually, I, I think it would be nice to go to uh, this uh, bike park in beneath in, in the hospital. Okay. To, to just you know to get to, to see that it's uh, well a bike parking where you can with employees can buy a bike there uh, park their bikes yeah. and then they go right into the hospital right. and there is a bicycle shop as well so uh, nice. okay. you can see that yeah, okay yeah. yeah excellent let's do it okay. At the end of this street, we'll end up at the at the, the, the crossroad that you were with uh, Shorset. Okay. When uh, I don't know if you remember, but then for your own orientation, then you know where we are more or less. More or less. I've pretty much forgotten all that. Okay. <laughs> You've done some other things in between. In between, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One or two other cities. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I a can few imagine. hundred videos. <laughs> this used to be red asphalt as well, but it all uh, uh, yeah. got off. It was one of the earlier. They uh, did the the cheap version. They just yeah, painted yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah. Oh well. Can't be perfect. <laughs> You gotta have something to improve upon. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's why I do it, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's actually in the neighborhood that I live in, which is a very nice neighborhood to live and everything. But they uh, draw a lot of old streets and they are planning on uh, redoing them uh, for quite some time now. But yeah. there you see really, you know, really potholes and, and and, and that's quite unusual for Dutch yeah. uh, streets, actually. Yeah. And it gives a very, uh, say that, yeah, it looks very, like, a very poor looking. Uh, when the street is not all right, then, then the whole thing is not all right. <laughs> right, yeah. 
Do you remember this place now or not? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. It's a very busy street. This is a very unusual road. It's very wide. And, and yeah. Well, it's really it got, well, that's what, like I said, this is a road that makes pe people go through the city yeah. and not to the city, not yeah. as a, de a, a, a destiny, but as a go through. And that's, that's you should try to avoid that, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But it's the, the old main road to the south. The, the highway the highway to the south the a73 mm -hmm. uh, was built in uh, like I think 20 20 years 25 years ago yeah. but before that this was the main road to, yeah. uh, to the south to to Venlo to Rumon to Maastricht yeah. well you have my so, permission to change that <laughs> yeah so when I when I started studying here and hitchhiked home yeah. then it was through this road yeah, yeah. <laughs> put your thumb out and say hey Give me a ride home. Yeah, that's that's a nasty road to have going through the middle of your town. Yeah, it is. It's just too many cars. Especially since there's a highway, you know. They to, had another yeah. main road to, yeah, yeah. to Den Bosch. Yeah. Uh, and and they, uh, they made it, uh, uh, we go to the right here. Mm -hmm. They made it smaller, but it was a whole, it was really, Heavy discussions on that. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, but they uh, they did, and uh, and for the people that live there, it's it's really an improvement. And and there are alternatives for cars as well. So uh, yeah, that's a strange thing when you when you think about it. It's even more appropriate. Yeah. To take another route. Yeah. See here, the cargo bike is taken also the places that are reserved for motorcycles. Okay. So that's a good uh, yeah. uh, replacement. Right. This is the. These are buildings of the Han uh, University of Applied Sciences. Right. University of Applied Sciences. Right. But then also it's uh, it's part of this re residential. Uh, and actually, what what is uh, we have. We have these uh, zero emission zones coming in uh, by January 2025. Okay. You know, that, that uh, uh, fossil fuel vans and trucks cannot enter specific uh, areas. Mm -hmm. And here, this, uh, this is actually the, the, the border of the zero emission, emission zone of the university campus okay. and the hospital campus. But people that live here, they say, why, why wouldn't we add this street as well to the zero emission zone because uh, well, you know when you are on the border they kind of afraid that uh, that all the trucks will stop here to that are not zero emission we go that way yeah to uh, uh, yeah to, to, to enter their streets right and uh, but it's also funny to hear that people want to enlarge the zero emission zone because most uh, there, there is also opposition from, from mainly from, from companies, from entrepreneurs, to to quit the zero emission zones, and uh, mm -hmm. so that are contrary developments, let's say, or ideas about it. Right. Actually, this this is the the hospital and university, and there is there are bike lanes all around it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you can. You, it's very easy to use the bicycle to right. uh, get around here. What are the buildings over here? The green ones. Those are also uh, from the university, uh, mm -hmm. and these are mainly the the beta. So it's mm -hmm. uh, uh, mathematics, uh, mm -hmm. physics, uh, uh, natural science, mm -hmm. and they are also when they will build a re really sustainable basis. Uh, mm -hmm. So the I think they do a lot of. Um, with with uh, sunshine entering and covering the mm -hmm. to have go to the right here. Mm -hmm. 
and, and the whole campus has, uh, has, has changed quite a bit also in the, since, well, since I studied here and, and, and now. So that's the, yeah. And they are concentrating more and more also the, the housing of students uh, in this area. Okay. So it's, uh, before it was uh, a, a lot of uh, faculties were all around the city. So they concentrated the, the different faculties here. And now they also concentrated. Here's where the go down here. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're, you're, you're asked to, uh, to walk here. All right, so this is the bike shop inside the employee bike yeah, parking. Yeah. And they put a, 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 a... Yep, you get your key card operated, secure bike parking in here. Nice. And you can see the e-bike charging capability here. That's great to see. Yes. It's nice well, you know, for, for bike parking, it's not that very special, but... Uh, yeah. And the, probably... the special part about it is that it's here and the access to the hospital right through these doors Yeah. that you see here. And you get the, the elevators and yeah. uh, you... I think you probably need a pass to... Uh, yeah, it looks like you're right through. there. There's your... But it's very... Uh, yeah. yeah, I always like that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's... Uh, Hey. You know, that's also good that they have the, the fossil fuel mopeds that they stand outside here, not mm -hmm. so they don't have the, the fuse inside. inside yeah. Of course, I'd be fine having them outside the city. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Well, the last thing is now the, the main entrance of the, of the hospital. Yeah. With the not so perfect bike parking. Okay, let's say. go check that out. <laughs> we'll have to walk here. Okay. You know, that in itself is already a really strange thing that you have. You can bike that part, but you cannot just bike through to get to the hospital so you have to go all the way there to take the the bike lane over there yeah well no. it would be very logical just to go right here yeah and again you know the people on bikes are used to riding in situations where there's people who are, are walking walking yeah. are in wheelchairs you know, riding a bike slowly is is something that's very much yeah, but common. The problem is that not yes. everybody bikes slowly. <laughs> See, so so this is really the the main yeah. entrance. Yeah. And is that it across the way there? Hmm? Is that the bike parking for us over there? For no, people no, visiting? that's that's, uh, that's, that's illegal. <laughs> oh, that's illegal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But oh. this is a uh, there are events here and there is uh, okay. and, and also classes for students so okay. uh, look no, where the, the official one is here okay and look where the cargo bikes are you got cargo yeah, bikes yeah, right yeah. there of course yeah okay <laughs> so here's here's the official i'm a visitor to the hospital whether yeah, this is where you park your yeah, bike yeah yeah and i'm riding my bike because my my uh, ability to walk far distances is limited but i can ride and so yeah, or you just, you know, here's, you here's where riding I'm your bike instead of coming with the car. Yeah, yeah, or coming with the car. I'm trying to get sympathy points here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, but uh, sometimes you don't. It, I, I, tell, I tell people that, uh, that this, this is my mobility device. <laughs> I can only walk so far, yes. And so I'm able and to travel much yeah. I'm able to travel much further with my mobility yes, device. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Back to seriousness. I mean, so this is where visitors yeah, to visitors, the hospital. Yeah. Visitors. Yeah. 
our parking here. You can see that this is completely overrun. This is overflow parking. Yeah, yeah. Every we're... possible spot but here, that's, that's, and that's... it's overflowing into here. Uh, so yeah, they've got a problem. They, you know, they get bonus yeah. points for doing well um, for parking for the employees, employees. Yeah. but they're really missing the boat for. This is this is a, this is critical. They're missing yeah. the boat for their paying customers. Exactly. Yeah. You know, their yeah. customers. And actually, yeah. I think it's also quite far from the main entrance. It is far from the I main mean, entrance. I mean, when you yeah. when you when you are used as a, well, not used, but as a cyclist, you know, you you cycle because you can get close to your target. Way well, I would be. put. I would even uh, not using the term cyclist. I would just say a person who using uses bike. a bike, and yeah. it's and it also happens to be and maybe their mobility device. Yeah. You want it to be as com as convenient as possible, yeah. because what we want to avoid is we want to avoid incentivizing the use of one of those things. Exactly. An yeah, automobile. Yeah. And yeah. that's that's really strange that they do that much effort for their employees. Yeah. And so little effort for yeah. the visitors and for yeah. the patients and, yeah. and uh, so, so a, a, plus, uh, a plus a plus a plus for employees. Mm -hmm. Good job, hospital. Uh, you get like a C minus. I was thinking about that. C minus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. C minus. Yeah. <laughs> we agree on that. At least we have a little I mean, bit of cover is, yeah, there for is, some. Uh, I mean, but there it's is clearly overflow. I mean, it stretches all the way around over here. I mean, I, I'm glad we got some greenery, but. But seriously, no, I mean, and it, it's, yeah. it's evident that the, that there is more. Uh, yeah. uh, I mean, look at it; it just stretches on and on and on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank of you for thank you for showing me this. It's yes. also possible that a lot of employees park here. I don't know, but that's uh, that's a good point. Yeah, because maybe they just consider it inconvenient to to have to go all the way down when, below. Yeah, when they are not really yeah working there yeah. on that side, for instance. Yeah, yeah, and and I must say, I mean, there are other bike parkings at other. I mean, this mm -hmm. this this hospital campus is quite big, sure. so sure, there are other sites where uh, where there is bike parking as well. But uh, yeah, yeah, for for the main entrance, and especially because it's new. I mean, they opened it last year. Yeah, and I I, I was kind of surprised to see that it was that little uh, uh, attention for uh, for bike parking for for, yeah. for visitors actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. hey, you, you have to have something to improve upon. Yes, of course. Yeah, so, <laughs> so here what we go. What else could we do? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Are we so, at the end of our tour? Yeah, Is this I think pretty so. Much well, it? we yeah. have to go to the cafe. Okay. And that's, you know, you can consider that part of the tour. Yeah, just, let's do that. Let's consider that part of the tour. <laughs> we'll we'll uh, say goodbye to the audience at the, the cafe. Let's, let's do, do that. that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Go to the right here. So here's some enclosed parking here. It's probably for yeah. the students. Uh, no, I guess for for employees as well. Okay. Maybe students. I'm not sure. Yeah. And this is a car parking. Okay. There's the car park. And hopefully they charge a fair amount of money. For parking mm. cars there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, they they they, they charge something, but then yeah, hopefully hopefully it's a lot. But you know the problem sometimes is when they <laughs> do charge, then yeah. the the employee pays it anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the employer needs to not pay. And you know it also depends on how how easy it is to get to get people. Yeah. Because that is uh, in some uh, well in in, in, uh, in some uh, uh, fields that that's really becoming a problem to get uh, the right people. Uh, uh, so when you have barriers like uh, payment for parking, then uh, or for pe some people that that might be a barrier. Right. Uh, well, it doesn't help. To get right. Them. Yep. <laughs> It's a very nice, 
a, a nice building and uh, quite a, let's say, you know, sometimes you have when, when it's a uh, professional education, then the, the premises are not that, that, that fancy or something. Right. And here they make the place to, to, to study very attractive as well. Yeah. A bowling uh, center. Nice. <laughs> we have bowling in the Netherlands as well. Yeah. We go to the left here. And here to the right. This used to be a uh, regular crossroad before. Yeah. So they made it into a roundabout. And uh, yeah, it's much, much... The, the, and, and cyclists have priority on the roundabout. Okay. So that makes it... Uh, uh, yeah, also a simulation to, to, to ride your bike. Right. Because this is actually a main road to the university and in, in the morning and in the evening this is a really busy road right. with a lot of uh, traffic jams and when I used to work in uh, I always when I worked at the Honig before mm -hmm. this was my uh, my cycle road to the to the city center and then I when it was a traffic jam from from the university to to the city I, 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 I counted the cars yeah. And, uh, and for instance, on every 100 cars, there were about 97 with only one person in it. Right. So that's, uh, well, you know, that's, that's how traffic jams uh, occur. This is very funny, I don't know why, but here the, the bicycle light goes a little bit earlier than the, the car light on this uh, night. But the next one, it's the other way around. Huh. So the car has, go, has green and then three seconds later, the, and I, I don't know why that is, huh. whether it's just yeah. a mistake or whether it's intentionally, I don't know. Yeah. And I always forget to ask when I yeah. see somebody who could answer yeah. that question. I'm kind of thinking how to get to the to the cafe and there are many ways to do that but maybe it's interesting to just go through the more or less a pedestrian zone okay and uh, make you go through that yeah that's fine <laughs> see how you yeah. manage well, that's fine. <laughs> so when you say pedestrian zone it's pedestrian priority yeah it's probably uh, the, but you it's can allowed, still ride it's allowed yeah. to ride yeah. yeah that's fine that's good there I know are, how there, to ride. I know how to ride slowly. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know. That's why. I, yeah. That's why I suggested otherwise. As I you wouldn't. can tell, I'm good at balancing many things with just a finger. <laughs> and uh, well, there, there there are very well. There's actually only one. No, no. There are several streets that are exclusive, exclusively pedestrian zone. Okay. But uh, not that many. And then in some of them, the bike messenger is allowed to be there with okay. the cargo bike. And in other ones, they are not. In general, is the city, the city staff in charge of the bike network? Are they pretty progressive and doing pretty good things? Oh yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Uh, they uh, I think they really do their best. It's not always uh, what, what, you know, what, what you would like yeah, but it's uh, yeah, it's not always perfect but no yeah, but yeah. they have to to yeah. to, to uh, take care of other uh, 
interest as well, of course. Right. And uh, I don't yeah, think sometimes ever... it's also a strategy to you know do something and yeah. just leave it one or two years and then yeah. try it again. Or... Try something else, yeah. I don't think I've ever met any city employees before. Here? Yeah, from here, yeah. You mean Nijmegen? Or? Yeah, I don't think I've ever met any city oh, employees okay. from Nijmegen that are well, actually, doing work in this arena. Yeah. yeah, yeah, well, I was actually, I had been thinking of contacting them, but, mm -hmm. but it was too short uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to notice, so. Uh, yeah, and I've never met them at any of the conferences or anything like that, you know. Uh, Whereas, like, well, you know, you know, like Georges von Duren, he used to, well, not really of the municipality, but of the yeah. Stadsregio. Yeah. So you met him, I guess. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. And maybe Klaas Jan Geven. Yeah. He was at the city and now he's at the, at the province. Oh, okay. Or at the, we have, you know, you have the, you have the cities, you yeah. have the province, and then you have some, some uh, they call them metropolitan regions. Yeah. And which, well, I mean, we actually do not have metropole, metropole but uh, it sounds good, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's, uh, and there is the, the green metropolitan region out of Nijmegen, and uh, Klaas Jan is uh, part of that. Oh, you want to see my, my, my private bike collection? Your private bike? Collection. I have a bike. Yeah, I, I want to show you. Okay. We stop here and go. And I think we'll walk with the bike. Okay. You see a lot of empty stores. Yeah. So uh, some years ago, I uh, when I moved from the Honig to yeah. the to where I am now, I have I have quite some bikes. Yeah, and I didn't know where to store them. Yeah, so I uh, checked here, and uh, they agreed to put some bikes here in the <laughs> in the window. Yeah, it helped me, and I helped them here to the left. Mm -hmm. Here, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Oh, look at that one. <laughs> it's more of an artwork. Yeah. The private bike collection. All the socialized ones. Very, very cool. Uh, yeah, we go to the left again. Okay. And it's also because this uh, this shopping center is it's uh, well there's a lot of empty places so it's not going very well so they go yeah. to tear it down yeah and they'll start in I think in January 2026 they uh, start rebuilding okay and uh, so before that time I have to have an alternative for the right the bikes. Well, there's a shortage of bike parking as well because they actually they are not allowed just to park here. Yeah. The official bike parking is actually down the plaza here. This is a free electric ah, city okay. hopper huh. to, well, you know, to get cars out of the city and have yeah. people move around. Uh, we go up there. 
Okay. I'm not sure there will be still place to park there, otherwise we have to come back and put the bike here, over here. What's the relevance of uh, where we're at? Well, this is actually the oldest uh, cafe of, uh, of Nijmegen. This one right here? It's called uh, in, in the Blue Hand. Yeah, yeah. Blue Hand. Yeah. And it's, uh, I think it's from 1538 or something, but wow. I'm not sure it's, yeah, yeah. It, it's the exact date, but it's, yeah. uh, it's all we can ask what, what the, uh, the exact date is. Yeah. So that's, uh, that, that's pretty old, actually. That's pretty old? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's older than me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's pretty old. Definitely. Yeah. So and Very they cool. and they have they have really good beers oh, and, right. and all kinds of uh, good stuff and even their own uh, brand okay. uh, Roy Tip Top yeah, yeah. which is actually from the brewery which uh, is down there okay. the Hamel it's called yeah, yeah, Adam yeah. yeah. and uh, it's it's a very old cafe and yeah. when when I started as a, as a as a delivering um, uh, fresh herbs and, and, right. and things from the market to uh, they were one of my customers as well wow so. Uh, that was, uh, but that, that's, you yeah. know, so I, uh, yeah. I come in quite a while. <laughs> that's, 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 Since a long time as a well. Bit, a big part so, of it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's nice. It's, yeah. uh, and it's simply uh, a good place to, uh, to, to sit wrap down this up. To, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, to I wrap this so. up. Well, to wrap this up, exactly. Yeah. Yours. Thank you so much for doing this. This is wonderful that we have this opportunity to, to ride around uh, fun. your yeah. fun city again. Uh, thank you. This is fantastic. Well, yeah. uh, I I, hope I'm thirsty. Are you thirsty? I, I'm very thirsty. Okay, let's get a, <laughs> yeah. let's get a drink. All right. Let's get a drink. Thank you very much, and, sir. Uh, I hope to see yes. you again in yes. that Very soon. Well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, bye. All right. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.